Welcome back. A big transformation is coming to the building and housing industry. Two leaders in technology are teaming up to create a platform to improve infrastructure and target the need for smart, affordable housing. Sketch to Scale solutions provider Flex and leading software development company RIB Rib creating a joint venture called Y2 Formative. Y2 Formative. Joining us right now in an exclusive interview are Flex CEO Mike McNamara and Chairman and CEO of RIB Thomas Wolf. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. So let's talk about why RIB and Flex decided to create this joint venture. What is the opportunity, Mike? Well, the opportunity is the building industry is extraordinary. It's um, you have a $75 trillion economy. You have a $10 trillion housing, you know, construction and uh, business. Um, RIB is the leader in 5D BIM. Uh, software systems, which is the whole front end associated with the building design, virtualization, cost, and time. And at the same time, we have Flex, who's a massive supply chain uh, company that works in many, many different industries to optimize supply chain. So what, what Y2 Formative has done is we've brought the two together, and we've integrated them into a, an enterprise um, software platform that actually integrates it all the way through from design concept all the way through to project completion. I love it. Thomas, what, how is this different than what exists today in the industry? Yeah, you have it in many industries. Um, um, there is a huge need for um, affordable houses and for smart houses, but the cost is too high. So in the cities, uh, there is not enough uh, space uh, at the moment. So the target is to, to get down the prices by 50% and using technology which comes from automotive and other technologies. Uh, and we have developed this free platform uh, targeting real estate companies, housing companies in the big cities to build like automotive is built and with this when we can get uh, down the price for 50 percent and create affordable and uh, uh, smart homes and infrastructure if we build this ne uh, in the future so we are generate for the next generation the living space um, and, and, and this is different because when the technology comes together with the supply chain, then we have the same what was in the automotive in the 80s. Uh, there was the same direction. But now technology is cheap, so it means there is big data, there is uh, cloud technology, there are all this fast internet, uh, the wearable devices. So we have now the infrastructure to use such technology and we can build, uh, rebuild uh, cities and infrastructure so that we have it ready for the next generation. I, I love the way it sounds. And we know that there's been this massive movement of people from uh, suburban places into cities. Mm -hmm. And you make a good point that there's not enough room, so this efficiency is important. What markets do you think that, that Y2 Formative will target and impact the most? You know, markets mm -hmm. or populations, who really gets impacted? Well, we're going to start with residential, um, and we'll target all across the world. So we're, this is a big international company. Um, Thomas runs his company in Germany. Obviously, Flex is a worldwide has a worldwide system as well. He has already over 10,000 customers with his software. Um, we're going to try to focus on all three regions. Um, but within those regions, we'll focus on China for the Asia, we'll focus on the United States for the, for the North America market, and we'll focus on Germany for the German market and, and target those residential um, large real estate and residential uh, building companies um, that have units of maybe 1,000 units per more per year that they do. So that'll be our first target. Um, and then expand from there. This is an important, I don't know if it's a pivot, but, it, but it's an important expansion for Flex, isn't mm -hmm. it? To really get this exposure to housing and construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's interesting is we have 12 different industries where we already have a billion dollars of revenue, and when we have a billion of revenue, it's really like three billion in commerce because we're, we're really cogs. Um, this would be our 13th vertical that we would try to go right, drive into a, a billion dollars. And you know what we found with those other 12 industries is you can take the best ideas out of every one of those different industries about how supply chain happens, about how logistics happens, about how you're using digital technologies to actually optimize the entire process. And you can apply the best of any of those and um, put them into a new industry. So that's what we're going to try to do, do now. You know, Thomas talked about automotive, but it doesn't matter where the technology is from. If we can optimize the process, yeah. all the way from the concept, the architectural concept, all the way through to the project completion, it can create a tremendous amount of value. And, and the, the one thing else I'd add is I, I don't think I've ever seen such a business opportunity where you have such a business value, like driving the cost of housing down to 50%, mm. 
and you have a complementary social value by being able to bring more and more affordable, smart housing to people sooner yeah. and with lower costs. That's a great point. And Tom, I'm glad you brought up automotive because there's been a revolution in automotive as a result of technology. Are you expecting that kind of revolution in, in construction and housing now? Yeah. So when you when you go in a, a last century beginning, nobody could afford a, a car, and look at the cars which right. nobody can afford. Today, everybody can afford a car, and the car is smart. And and when you imagine that this will happen to the construction building industry and you have smart homes and everybody can afford it and everybody can live and cut time and cost by 50 percent actually it would be a huge development and uh, make people very um, uh, happy to live in cities are there any worries in terms of president like Donald Trump's plans as it relates to trade uh, in, in terms of uh, potential tariffs in terms of potential changes on that front given that that's really the worry about his economic plan well, most of what we've seen in terms of the announcements, and obviously more coming out um, this morning, but it seems like it's pro infrastructure development. It does, it's pro yeah. jobs. It's pro. Um, we, we think it plays right into our situation. So we, we actually think our, our um, Y2 formative is actually in a better place now because we actually do think you'll actually have more development of, of commerce, yeah. or of uh, the GDP, and more people are going to buy houses and they're going to buy them quicker. And If there's one person that I feel like will actually double down on infrastructure, it's Donald Trump. I mean, right. he's a construction guy. Yeah, maybe we right. can even sell him some of, some of our uh, software. Maybe we can get him on our platform to build some of his... Uh... Well, that's the thing. Do you think there's an opportunity as as we see this whole new movement toward rebuilding America. No, yeah. no, I think America and the whole world has to be rebuilt because we have the digital age, yes. we have a connected world, people live, work and learn in a house. So we need to build this infrastructure and I believe uh, he has the experience, he comes from the real estate and construction sector, he really understands how to rebuild and he is an entrepreneur so I think maybe he can uh, give a direction for this and new development. and. Uh, I believe there's a good opportunity, and maybe he becomes the father of the new America. Sounds like you're, you're very well positioned. Mike McNamara and Thomas Wolf, good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be watching the development. Still